You've probably heard about volcanic eruption, or maybe you've even seen an active volcano on videos, but it's never satisfying our curiosity, right? Well, my name is Aya, and today I'll be talking about volcanoes. Deep inside Earth, between the molten iron core and the crust, there is a solid material forming part of the surface called the mantle, under such extremely high temperature, pressure and pent up gases cause the rock to melt and then become liquid rock or magma. We can see this mixture is usually contain gas dissolved in the liquid, but the gas forms a separate vapor phase when pressure is decreased as magma rises toward the surface of the earth. This is similar to carbonate beverages, which are bottled at high pressure and gas come out of solution and forms a separate phase gas that you see as bubbles. The same goes for volcanoes. Gases give magmas their explosive character at temperature between 800 and 1200 degrees Celsius. Not only gas pressure can erupt magma, but also tectonic plates when moved toward each other, eventually magma becomes less dense than it rises. In addition, when those tectonic plates move away from each other, the magma rises up as well. And magma that has reached the surface is called lava. Today, we're going to make the volcano of vinegar. You're going to need a bicarbonate of soda and pour in 2 to 3 tablespoons. Next, Put in a little bit of dish soap. Once that's done, grab your jug full of vinegar, around 300 milliliters. Then very slowly pour the liquid into your volcano and that is the result. Well, it's a very simple chemical reaction. The vinegar reacts with the bicarbonate of soda and creates, for example, uh, carbon dioxide, which forms bubbles. Now, the question that you might be asking is how something so dangerous and burner cannot cause the end of world? And what if all the volcanoes in the earth will erupt at the same time? Like, what will the same be? Actually, a volcano cannot remove the entire globe, but it can transform a vast region into a desert that has no life. It's actually really dangerous. Lightning. Yes, lightning. I know it's a mysterious, but actually that happens. Well, that phenomenon is due to electrical charges which are generated when rocks, fragments, ash and ice particles in a volcanic plume collide and produce static charges. But rest assured about Earth guys, volcanoes are one way Earth gives birth to itself. 